coming to the book fair sure was a great idea. Because you can't write if you don't know what the competition's up to. <laughs> a dog wrote a bestseller? Ah! All I've done is procrastinate. Oh, who am I kidding? There will never be a book with my name on it. Or your name could be on a book in ten minutes. Do I have to do any writing? No. Amen. Ah, a preteen prodigy. I like the hook. What's the phony backstory? I was raised in a traveling circus. My mother was a lady ringmaster and my father was a lion barber. I wrote my first story with clown lipstick on a flattened popcorn box. It was featured in the New Yorker's Best 40 Under 4 issue. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is R.L. Stein here? Because you just gave me goosebumps. <laughs> Go on, boss. Congratulations. You just sold your book for a million dollars. Gentlemen, to the Troll Twins of Underbridge Academy. Woo! Yeah! So, does it square us for Kansas City? Square us golden books, Pop. What happened to me? In one vulnerable moment, I became the thing I hated most. A literary fraud. But, Lise, when this book comes out, you'll be beloved. Not just by Millhouses, you'll get attention from Jacksons, Xanders, even Aidens. Oh, I've always wanted an Aiden. Here it is, an advanced copy. The Vampire Twins of Transylvania Prep? Where's the trolls? The trolls are now vampires, the Brooklyn Bridge is now a castle, and Fuzzle Pitch is now Blood Ball. Oh, weak, weak, and lame! How oh, could the publishers change our book? If they had been in charge of the Sistine Chapel, the whole thing would be vampires instead of the Pope's private naked dude mural. Look, we market tested the book, and it really got dinged on the whole trolls thing. I mean, dinged. So we made some changes. Don't feel bad. Before we got our hands on Twilight, it was about a girl who fell in love with a golem. But teenagers weren't going to spend their allowances to join Team Shmuel. But the trolls were the best part. Do the characters still say trolley instead of cool? No. Oh, that is so untrolly. Hey, if you don't want your words changed, write a screenplay. We own your book. So why don't you go and cry into your million dollar check? How could they do this to our book? It was the singular vision of seven people. No way! What you're feeling is called pride of authorship. You thought you only cared about money, but you actually care more about what you've created together. British Fonzie is right. Our story is actually more important than money. I was gonna buy the apartment next door and fill it with dolls. But now that just sounds stupid. They can't do this to us. We've gotta fight back. Yeah, let's get it! Oh, yeah. He's right. We gotta fight. Rule number one of book heists. Never fall in love with the book. We queer the deal, we lose the money. Bart, remember the thousand year war between the trolls and the ogres? Yeah. Now it's a dance contest at the vampire prom. <gasps> Let's steal back our book. <laughs>